day, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, the one and only Agent Shambly, and today I'll be reviewing Batman the Video Game. This game was developed by Sunsoft. It was released on February 13th, 1990 in the US and is loosely based on the 1989 Batman movie. A movie that I already reviewed on my Shambly Show channel, so be sure to check that out after watching this video. Anyways, this game is an action platformer. Batman's moves consist of punching and wall jumping for the most part. Basic, yes, but it's still very fun. He also has his classic battle ranks, which is by far the best weapon in the game in my opinion. For some reason, however, he does have a gun, and to be fair, it does work wonders against a few bosses. And he has this... thing. But the gadgets are a great addition to the game, and you will need them in boss fights. If you played this game before, or either watched or read somebody else's review of this game, I'm sure they'll tell you how awesome his music is. Well, they weren't lying. The music is by far the best part of this game. There is not a bad track in this game at all. As for the graphics, it still hold up okay in 2017. Though I did have an issue with the backgrounds blending in with the platforms I was supposed to jump on. Though that could have been because of my TV and it didn't happen often. So I'll excuse it. You also get pretty cool cutscenes in between levels that help tell the story. Heck, one scene's actually a similar scene from the movie. As far as the controls concerned, they work well for the most part. They're not stiff and there's no real delay. Well, except for jumping, sort of. I noticed that Batman bends his knees in a little animation before jumping, instead of jumping right away like Mario or Sonic would. It threw me off at first, but once I realized what was going on, I quickly adapted to it and it wasn't really an issue for me. You can also jump higher or low depending on how hard you tap the button, so that's an added plus. This game is hard, but fair. Each level is divided by sections, and when you die, you start the beginning of that same section. And on top of that, there's unlimited continues, except for boss sections, which sucks, but whatever. But overall, this game is great. The gameplay is fun, the controls are nice, the graphics still hold up okay, even though Batman is purple for some reason, and the music is awesome. Overall, this game gets an A. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my other channel, Shambly Show, where I have my superhero movie reviews uploaded. And remember, if you liked this video, be sure to smash that like button, give that subscribe button a good KO Punch, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. You all have a nice day. Take care of yourselves and be safe.